Good morning crafty friends, I'm Elizabeth of Earl Grey Crochet. This is my October video update of what I've been working on. What I'm going to try to do is do monthly update videos and then in between those I'll do other videos maybe like topical or maybe about a particular item I'm working on or something else. We'll see how we go. So the aim is that I'll get one of these videos out about the beginning of each month. So let's start out with the finished item. This is my Spotting Clouds top, which I made for the Crochet Along, run by Clarissa Beth over at Crochet Cakes. The pattern is by Christina Hattering, and it can be found through Ravelry or on her website, aspoonfulofyarn.com. You can also find her on Instagram at aspoonfulofyarn as well. So the first part I made with uh, Rowan Cotton Glassy, Glacy, which I bought in a shop here in Australia, because um, I couldn't be bothered to wait for the... Uh, recommended yarn to arrive in the post which was Sheepty's Katona which they're both 100% cotton so it worked out pretty well. This second yarn that I used was my Sheepty's Well in Lavendelicious which I really like how the um, the gradient works up. Um, I still have this much left so I was kind of disappointed I kind of really wanted to use the rest of the cake but also I felt like the top was long enough and it worked well how it was so I didn't need to just keep adding to it just for the sake of using all of the cake. So I'm not sure what I'll do with the rest of this, but I've got to find something to do because it's still beautiful. I'm going to move on to some works in progress. This is my Diamond Cooler Midwife blanket. I've made quite a bit of progress on it because I was able to work on it while we were at VidCon in Melbourne. Um, while we are sitting in queues or waiting for panels. I'm not sure if you can tell, but depending on the lighting, it's really obvious that the balls of yarn are all different dye lots. I did buy them on special and there wasn't a whole lot of stock left so that's really a reason. But uh, yeah, hot tip if you want your project to look good, get yarn in the same dye lot. Not like me. So my next work in progress is my Layula, which is a crochet along run by Emma over at Potter and Bloom. Go check her out. And if you watched my last video, you would have seen my cake when I unpacked it. I started at the beginning of the cake with the yellow section, and there's this lovely orange and pinks, and then we're fading into the purples, and then this is what's left of the cake. So I'm pretty excited to see how that turns out. I ended up doing four repeats of the pattern instead of just three, um, because I really wanted to use most of the cake but also not have it too incredibly long although now I'm kind of concerned that it's not going to be very long at all we'll see it'll look beautiful either way so that's how it's going I feel like it's appropriate living in Australia to do nice spring themed colors originally I was thinking kind of greens and browns but um, of course I had to order purple in the end Matt encouraged me it's his fault we can blame Matt so it was maybe a couple of videos I was talking about this top and how I was going to undo it because I, I just don't really like it. Um, so I needed to find a pattern to crochet the yarn into a new top once I undo it. So I was trying to get a hold of this DMC pattern. There's a cute little top with a collar. Um, it would be perfect for summer. Um, but the website I found it on, it wasn't a downloadable file. You had to pay like £15 postage. Then I found it on another website and the postage was only like £5. So... Here's the pattern. Uh, I finally got it in the mail. It was very exciting. Um, I'm not sure how it'll go because it's only for, it says UK size 40, I believe, which is like an Australian size 12. And I'm about an Australian 8 to 10. So we'll see how it goes. Although it shouldn't be too bad because it's not, the construction top is like you make these pieces and then kind of just crochet around and then this bit it's not a certain number of rows you just crochet for you know until it measures a certain amount so it should be fine I just might not have enough yarn in the light purple color so I'll do some of it in the dark purple color hopefully that looks all right but yeah I got the pattern wish me luck however I'm probably not going to start that right away I was planning to start it as soon as I finished my spotting clouds top but I probably won't because I've applied for my very first market. 
Um, I won't know if I'm accepted for quite a little while yet. So I'm going to be spending the next month or two crocheting a lot of things I could sell at the market. So if I get accepted, I'll have these little jellyfish and these dinosaurs and a few other little uh, things like that. And I'll try to have a variety of different items. So I'm going to spend um, a bit of time over the next month or two, depending on if I get accepted or not, uh, working on a lot of items to sell. So I was also looking at my Stylecraft Specialty K scraps, which there's a lot of. This whole basket is filled with Stylecraft Special DK. Some of it's not scraps, some of it, there are full balls in here. But I was thinking of making like a, a rainbow scrappy blanket with all of my colours, but then I realised I have heaps of blue, so I decided just to make a blue blanket. So I'm making these, all these granny squares. Says. So I'm using four different colours. I'm using cloud blue, sherbet, storm blue, and turquoise. And with the four colours and four rounds in each square, I can make 24 individual squares. So my first batch was 12 squares, and they're all different. And then this is my second batch of the next four, 12 squares. I'm being really good and getting rid of the ends as I crochet around. And these little bits, I've sewn in a bit already, and then I'll just crochet over and then trim off the excess that's sticking out. And to join them all up, I'm going to use white and kind of a join-as-you-go uh, technique, which maybe I'll make a little video out of. We'll see how we go. Because it's kind of a combination of a couple of different techniques I've learned around the place. Now on to stash enhancements. I'm going to be ordering some more yarn from Wool Warehouse soon, because um, obviously I need more Stylecraft Special DK. And yesterday I received a package from Beck over in Perth. Uh, she goes as Handmade Beck on Instagram. I've bought yarn from her before and it was beautiful yarn. I made my by the sea shawl out of her yarn. So these are still in their plastic bags because they're beautiful and I don't want to take them out and ruin them or anything. A few weeks ago Beck shared on her Instagram she had some minis that she'd hand dyed. And look at them! Of course, yeah, I couldn't decide between the green blue set and the purple pink set. Because they're both just stunning, like. Look at that. No idea what I'll do with them, but I'm sure I'll find something eventually. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see more videos, click subscribe or click over here for more of my videos. And stay crafty! I think that's all I wanted to talk about. <laughs>